<laughs> How is everyone this morning? We're all up yeah. bright and early and ready for another beautiful day. Yes. Um, hello, everyone. Katie will be on here responding to uh, questions and linking products that we're going to be talking about. Um, yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday, which... Gosh, this week has gone by so fast. I know. It is just... It's been it's crazy. crazy. With Expo, yeah. we had a ton of shop orders shop orders and then it's just been like crazy yeah so uh. so yeah so we're just we're glad to have everybody join us this morning and i hope you guys are enjoying your stitching and quilting and all because fall is like just around the corner which i'm so excited about i am too i love fall i think fall and the holidays oh my gosh most favorite time of year for me I, yeah, you know, when summer is coming to an end, I just, I crave fall, mm -hmm. sweater weather, oh, making yeah. soup. Emily mentioned that oh, the other yes. day. She's like, you guys, it's almost time for soup. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, yep. We, I went, in fact, I went a couple of weeks ago to, um, I don't know how international these guys are, but it's, it's a restaurant here in town. It's called Neaters mm -hmm. and they specialize in, uh, like uh, pastries and breads and then soups and oh my gosh I I got me a it was a cream what was it called it was a, a, a corn chowder a corn chowder and I make a corn chowder and I put chicken in it and yes it I was delicious. delicious just delicious but they had they had one it was just corn chowder and it was very good so yeah, that sounds going back delicious. There. it was good um, we got the background set up. Um, if you guys joined the live that we did, was that Saturday night? I think Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, it was Saturday night. I feel like night. my whole world is just you know, backwards. I, I told the girls, I says, I just, I feel like my head is just swimming every day. Like, <laughs> it's like, when's this merry-go-round going to quit? It's just, it's just crazy. Yeah, so I, my sisters helped me get my hutch, you know, I didn't want to do it because we, um, me and my husband were going to do some updating to the hutch, get a new coat of paint, um, take out those like column things. Right now they're holding up the actual shelving and so we can't do that until we, um, he rigs it. Yeah, puts <laughs> it in so they can, I can have shelves still. Yeah. So, but it is pretty. I love Halloween, you guys. Um, it's turned out And beautiful. you guys know that. I probably yeah. say that every time yeah. we talk. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. I, I love it, too. I love, like I said, I love all these holidays that are coming up. They're always so fun. Um, and we didn't introduce ourselves. Oh, sorry, Sorry. Guys. Um, and Emily's not here, and she's usually the one that is like, don't forget. Yeah, and we... she was. She's <laughs> working on shipping this morning. Yeah. So anyway, I'm Lindsay and I'm Nettie, known as mom, and we will be sharing all things cross stitch and quilting. Emily, um, she messaged me this morning and she's like, I'm not doing the live. <laughs> her, her actually, her little boy's been up uh, uh, really sick the last couple nights. And so she's pretty sleep deprived. Yeah. And, and she's like, I'm coming in, but she's like, I'm not doing the live. She says, I just need to get in and do shipping and and so she can get back home to him so yeah so we're like that's okay that's yeah not good oh she's on there. she's on they're oh they are making oh, me work she's, whatever what a fibber <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny that's funny i have my door shut this yeah. is my office yes. um yeah so lots of pretty things and lots of fabric so uh, yeah. All right, so let's get started. First off, we want to thank everyone for the love and support on the new Expo patterns. You guys are amazing. Um, all the comments. I can't even keep up reading them all. I know, like, I can't either. I really try and, and read them all, and you guys are just so sweet. It just makes it so worth it, and it makes... Um, it just makes all this worth worth what we do yeah. I mean, there's some days that we just feel crazy 
and like we just don't know which way to turn and how we're thinking <laughs> but you know what you guys make it worth it yeah you guys with the love and the support it just makes it all worth it yeah and it's funny um i was talking to someone now i can't remember who it was but um you guys see probably like i don't know one percent <laughs> of what what is going on and the 99 percent there's so much behind the scenes and um and you guys just make it all worth it yeah, with you your do. love and your comments and your support so um thank you for that and a special thank you to my sisters who joined me um in the expo releases i couldn't do it without them and then of course to mom I don't know how many times I, I cried. <laughs> I cried you know so what? much we, getting you know. ready for the show. You guys, it was so hard on me. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I know. Um, I love what I do so much, and I never want to disappoint anyone. And um, Sorry. I might need a tissue, Mom. <laughs> I don't I don't know why I'm emotional, but um I just have felt so much love from you guys and support and it makes all those uh late nights uh crying on mom's shoulder like I don't know how I'm gonna get these releases done in time because you guys I don't think you realize we were down to the wire. Yeah. And, um, just you guys make it so special and the fact that I get to share this with my family makes it even more special mm -hmm. and everyone, everyone that, ha um, oh my gosh, it's okay, it's okay. I didn't know this was therapy session this morning. No, mm -hmm. everyone that has a hand in what we do here they're all so special to me and we cannot do it without them um anyway <laughs> yeah, it's okay i get i uh, i got up early and i must be sleep deprived too so um we'll, Mom. Se we'll send her home this <laughs> afternoon to have a nap and to recuperate because she <sighs> you know what she deserves it she deserves it and uh you know and it is hard you know and uh to be honest Lindsay's never uh she's always been a stay-at-home mom and moving to this new office and getting kids off to school and coming into work is a whole new world for her and I I feel for her pain because I did that when they were little and it was really hard to adjust and so I yeah. know that's a struggle for her, but you guys make it, like I say, you guys make it so much worth it. And, and so it's just getting adjusted and getting yeah. used to it. And I think, yeah, it's been really difficult. Like mom said, um, my kids, I might have to just not do the show today. Oh my gosh. My kids are everything to me. And like mom said, I have been a stay-at-home mom um yeah. their whole life yeah. and they're not used to having mom not just right there up the stairs and i was privileged to work from home and so even though i was working i was still there mm -hmm. they could come upstairs and and get mm -hmm. and and you know uh mom and emily would always tease me because they're like your kids just they they can't live without they, her <laughs> yeah which obviously is a great thing yeah and um i'm just really close to my children and um even this morning i'm like i'm gonna try something new and it's just like getting in early and then making sure i'm home so they can um i'm home when they get home from school because that has also been a struggle been a struggle is um that has changed so i tried something new this morning and it didn't work out um but i think we have something figured out and yeah. um wow 
<laughs> but it's gonna be good. Let's move on. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm it's so sorry. It's gonna be good, and we have a lot of fun things to show you today. A lot. Yes. And so we're gonna get started. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Mom's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> all right. So um, we had some. Sorry, I have to put these on so I can read it. Um, thank you for the super chat. Sorry, yes. I did not catch who it was, but thank you, thank you, thank yes, you. thank you so um, much. We sent out the newsletter this morning, and there was some really fun bundles in there, one of which we restocked. Um, oh, this one here. This beautiful Halloween bundle. Um, Solid I colors. showed this a few weeks ago, and you guys loved it. It's perfect for Toil and Trouble if you're doing the finishing on that. And um, it really, they're they're like um, we call it low volume. Yes. Or they read solid. Yes. Even though it's not, not. a solid, there's a texture. I think they'd be really pretty, even with the quilters. I mean, oh, just a yes. really pretty fall runner or something this to put out there. Yes. And so, even with the project that we're going to show today would be really pretty with that yeah I'll show you but yes. um so we're restocking that um hopefully we'll have plenty in there for you guys to snag one if not i'm sure we'll buy more because it's it's i think it's a basic um yeah. it's from andover fabrics and i think it's a basic so it's something i want to yeah. just keep in all the time yeah janelle thank, thank you, you so janelle. much you're so for sweet. the super chat that is awesome. so sweet of you thank you and then the other bundle, this one, I've been really excited to, to this one's a big share one. with you guys because um, I did the religious trio finishing with one of the fabrics that is in here. But this is a great bundle for your finishing or quilting, like Mom said. So I'm just going to put it and then we can show You know, show and that's what piece. I like about the bundles that Lindsay puts together is they're not only good for the cross stitch and the finishing, I mean, if you're a quilter, I mean... You can always add you, to your stash. You can always add to your stash. And, you know, they're great fill-ins for, you know, just for your stash to fill in things. Yeah. In, so, it's awesome. Okay. So, here, look how pretty that is. Oh, so pretty. It's the dark ones. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, wouldn't that be adorable as the backing of a pillow or... You know, in one a quilt of Kate, too. You know, one of Katie's little truck suit, like the, the Christmas truck series. In yes. fact, yes, that would so be pretty. so cute. There's that one. And look, this one is adorable. I just love this oh, one. Oh, the cardinals. The cardinals. And this green color, it's, you can't really tell, but. It is a really so pretty one. Pretty. It's not bright, not too dark. It's just. And right. then this is a tonal, uh, which I love tonal prints where it's. The same color in a different tone on tone so it gives the look of um it's not busy you're not taking away from your project when you use yeah. those snowflakes, snowflakes are always great to have in the yeah. stash this buffalo plaid this is the classic red and yeah. black buffalo always a must in any stash yes and then this beautiful uh black version so I put all three colorways. This yes. is what I used um, on uh, the religious trio. So, but in the bundle you get the three colors. So you get the black, the red, and the green. Yeah. Really pretty. And then this red tonal. So this is the red colorway that matches the black one yeah. I just showed. So again, <clears throat> beautiful, a lot of pretty colors. And I know it's early it's, for Christmas, but really it's not for no. us crafters and no. makers, you know, no, we're because, starting Christmas you know, early. <laughs> it's, it's getting your projects done for the people that you're going to give gifts to, Right. you know, get them done, get them out of your way. And, and what's better way is to pick up a, a beautiful bundle to enhance to, that. I know. Good. And you, I just love having, well, I have plenty of fabric on hand, obviously, <laughs> but before I had fabric like this 
Um, I had a decent stash, and it was always so nice to be able to pull from the stash yeah. when I wanted a quick thing that I didn't want to wait for a piece of fabric to come. So, yeah. I especially if you're not if you don't have that lo that local store, right? You know, it's yeah. always nice to be able to keep your stash fully stashed, and fully stocked, fully stocked. <laughs> <laughs> so. In fact, when we moved here to the store, they brought all of my personal stash in and yeah. it's a lot you guys yeah. well you know what's funny is we brought all of her personal stash and it was uh uh totes and totes not small totes they're big totes very, and very heavy and very heavy and then emmy walks in with her little tote and she <laughs> you know and so she's all proud about it and then when they moved me into my home my new home um emmy helped and she's like Oh my gosh, she says, I'm almost thinking you're worse than Lindsay because I don't even have, I also have like totes and totes, but I have boxes upon boxes of uh, quilts that are finished mm -hmm. and some that aren't. And because I just want those to be something I give to my grandkids as a legacy for me. Yes. And so they can remember grandma made something beautiful for them. So, yeah. So it's a good thing. Which that's what our grandma did yes um they either crochet a lot of crochet we got a crush a crochet a, a crochet crochet blanket yeah. from grandma and even she, great grandma yeah great grandma and then my grandma did i don't know what that was called um oh gosh i don't know it was like a it's like a We'll have to bring one in. Yeah. We'll I, I don't even know in. what it's called, but it's I don't beautiful. Either. And I, I'll, it's my brain. I if my sister's watching, I'm sure she'd sit there and pipe in and she could tell us. But, um, and she may be watching. I'm not sure. Uh, but yes, my mom, she got into a craft that just absolutely beautiful things and made each of the girls something. So we'll bring that in and show you guys. It has to do with yarn. Yeah. Yarn. And I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. And so. it's not like knitting or. No. No, but okay. so. All right, so let's move on to our whips, which I'm gonna send my book right here. I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put this right here right now. Oh, before we start in on the whips, we, like I said, we were to the wire with getting the patterns, but here is the book. Yeah. It's so pretty, you guys. There's some there's some fun pictures in there when you guys get it. You guys are just gonna chuckle because yeah. Lindsay, her new thing is is you know, we wanna share you know what we wanna share our family with you guys. Um, because that's what that's what our business is about, is about our family. And so it's it's been fun watching Lindsay find pictures of them growing up and doing yeah. fun things and so there's some old ones in yeah, there. There's some old ones <laughs> and you guys all have to guess who's who. <sighs> How's that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So my first whip um, is Harvest by Bent Creek. And so I'm picking all my own colors. And, yeah, I am loving. It's so pretty. How it is coming along. So it looks like a bigger chart, but honestly... I think I can get it done in a couple more weeks of stitching. You, you, you know, I think, yeah, it looks like it's a big project, but actually I, it's I got a lot of letter, got a lot of um, letters and, you know, just a few little smalls. Yeah. I so think it's going to go really fast. I do too. And um, 32 light taupe is what Beautiful. I'm stitching it on. Come on. Okay. So, um, like I mentioned last week, I went on a little road trip with my best friend. Um, her sister had passed away a few months ago, and so they were just doing the memorial. And my friend Kathy, she she moved into her home, and her little kitchen is uh, got they have lemons and stuff, and it's so cute. And so she asked me to make one of these for her kitchen, and so she did the driving. So it's called Squeeze the Day. Yep. It's one of, it's uh, one of summer, the summer stamps. And so I started it on the drive. And so this is how far I've gotten. And so, hope you know, it shouldn't take me too long. And I, I actually have another lemon pattern designed. Ooh. It's just not stitched. Oh. I'm not ringing a bell. 
but she I shows think me things all the out, time. You, well, you were gone when we got it out because oh. we were going through all of our, yeah, our stuff. But yeah, so it's it's going it's going good, and I can't wait to finish that for her. Yeah, and when you see the next project, Kathy will will want it, and you can uh, stitch, stitch it. it for her. Yeah, or maybe we should make her start stitching. You know, she's so funny. She she buys she buys everything. And, and I asked her, I'm like, when are you going to start stitching? But the poor woman, she has seven dogs. And they're all little teeny dogs. They're so cute. And they're so cute. And um, so every time she sits down, they all pile on. It's like dog pile on Kathy. Mm -hmm. And so she she can't get any space to cross stitch. And she says, one day I will. But she buys everything. And well, she'll be ready. So she'll be ready. When yeah. she's... Uh, actually ready to stitch yeah so um i picked this up this week um the hummingbird sampler by heart and hand uh it's this is actually so beautiful because i think i'm doing it on 32 light taupe and it is way smaller than i thought so that's that is so pretty i really want to stitch this one this one is so pretty so I am doing this for my husband's uh, mom as a gift. She, um, her dad, so Brandon's grandpa, um, was a gardener and he spent all of his time in the yard and making it beautiful. And, and whenever we would go over there, you know, we just sat in the yard because he yeah. had made it like an oasis and, and Brandon, and his mom, like they, whenever they see hummingbirds, they think of Grandpa Joe. So I'm gonna do, so in the pattern, it has a place for um, initials. So I'm gonna do Grandpa Joe's initials. That will be so pretty. She's so, gonna love it. She's gonna love yes. it. So um, I've showed this before. These are the heart and hand little stitch cards um, with all the different little birds and I just absolutely have loved them. So, and so it's I, the stitching bird, and uh, quilting bird, and coffee bird. I finally have been able to sit down and just kind of work on them. So this is how I'm, you know, all things stitching, coffee, and quilting will be the third I, one. It's so cute. It is. Guys. I just love it. And I, I kind of do uncalled for and some not and whatever, but um, I'm actually, I picked a, I don't even know what, what color it is. I didn't say flavor, <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted him to be variegated. You know, I wanted some texture there and he's just turning out so cute. And, um, so yeah, I picked him up and, and I've been doing pretty good in, on it. And so excited to see how they, it finishes up. So, um, so I have, a tiny start so I'm doing my autumn rolls and I'm doing um, I'm just picking a few sections to do a smalls and I worked on this a little last night this is the make pumpkin pie section so small but <laughs> now what is this one from I'm sorry autumn rolls oh autumn rolls so yes it says make pumpkin pie I think it's the last oops sorry the last section mm. um, that would be really cute. And then, speaking of the book, I am doing this trick or treat. That's going to be really cute. And I started it yesterday, and I'm doing it on 28 Count Whisper, which I love the gray. And also, speaking of the book, Oh my gosh you guys my brain must be I forgot to write it in my notes so we are doing a stitch along with the book starting um, September 13th through October 13th we are stitching out of this book as a stitch along and we want you guys to join to pick us one. pick one pick to them do all whatever <laughs> you want to do we are um, gonna have floss packs for the whole book mm -hmm. um, we've been waiting on a specific uh, color yeah. and they must be having a shortage I don't know because yeah. every time we order it it doesn't come yeah so <laughs> yeah be patient you know we're, we're, we're you are we've got it coming 
So, but yeah, I'm excited. So, I'm going to pick a couple of these and, and join in. And we just want to have fun stitching it together. Uh, we're going to do giveaways. Yeah. We want to share your stitching. So be sure to share it like on our Facebook group and on Instagram. Um, and let's just have fun stitching some and when is this, spooky smalls. When's this happen? So happening? we're doing the 13th of September okay. through the 13th of October. Oh. Awesome. Because, you know, 13 spooky smalls. So, oh, <laughs> and you know what? You can stitch it after October 13th or even before yeah. if you get your e book, book by then. Yeah. But um, I did not know this. See, so I learn things all the time because her and Katie and <laughs> Emmy, they're always like, we were know. actually, it was what time was it last night? Eight o'clock. And it had been one of those days where we were just having a hard time getting everything done before a decent time <laughs> and so we were finalizing this this stitch along what color am i stitching the birds on uh the 25 count vintage country mocha that's my favorite i you know Lindsay introduced that to me and i'm hooked <laughs> i it's like everything i do is she forces me <laughs> or she'll not force me but, I, I do force her i'm like yeah. you gotta stitch this yeah. on something else so she oh. she tries to get me to do other things and i do and once i start stitching it i'm good with it but i i'm a antique lover i love vintage things i love old things primitive primitive yes and so i my my body and soul just gravitates to that so yeah but anyway so go ahead um so I pulled this out the other day when I was trying to find something to take on my little road trip with Kathy so I wouldn't have to think. And lo and behold, I found in my stash of things that I hadn't finished. And so I wanted to show you guys. It's it's these, uh, the Prim Stitch series from Lori Holt. I love these. And I when we kind of got back into cross stitching, it was the white 14 count, uh, just regular Ada. And these ones I haven't finished. Let me show you the ones I have. So that one I have finished. I love that one. And so what I've done is when I started, I started using three threads because I really wanted the texture. I wanted it to pop. Benounced to me how much floss I would be using, <laughs> which is fine, but um, but they're turning out beautiful. So that one is done, and then of course my angel, and she just so cute. Yes, I just love her. I love that one. Too. Oh, and then you know my farmer, gotta have my farmer, and I love this one. My little basket of strawberries. Cute. And so these ones that I'm showing you, I just need to finish the border. And um, and so I've got them all out so I can take them. Um, I've been doing things, uh, some more activities and things at night, especially since I'm not living at the house anymore. <laughs> I know, it's like she's got more of a social life than any of us oh, at this so point. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I thought, you know, I'm going to find things that, if I'm just sitting, so this one is the little church that has to be filled in and then the border. And so I wanted to find something that, you know, it's like a no brainer. I can just sit and do. And so my idea for this, when I first started, I just love the kitty. When I first started, I wanted to, when I finish it, I want to, and I, I'm a, I'm a lover for Lori Holt's fabric because mm -hmm. I'm all things 30. I just, I love it. And so I want to, I want to be able to cut them out and uh, quilt them like in a, like a wall hanging or something mm -hmm. that I can put on display where all 12 are in a thing. And so I will get this done. It might take me some time, but that's my goal. So, awesome. yeah. Um, I can't wait to see. Yeah. Like we're going to have to come up with. She's going to have to design something for yeah, me. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to She's going to have to think about yeah. that. Because we'll, we'll cut them all out, <laughs> and then, of course, we will do a... I think it will be fun to kind of show you guys a step-by-step. -step. Yeah. So I am really going to try to work on those and get those finished. So um, I know I'm behind still, but the Toil and Trouble, I made some progress. Not a ton. 
but I'm I'm bound and determined to finish this it's this out year. Beautiful. Um, I've been seeing everybody do their finishing, and I love it. I love I all of your your finishing so many and your cute ideas. ideas. I know. I love it. Really fun. And then I got um, this out. So Halloween letters was uh, one of the expo releases. And I told you guys how I actually had stitched this myself. Well, I'm going to show you the one I stitched. And as I was stitching it, I had the designer in me. I just, I like, I change things because I'm like, oh, it would look better this way. And I made so many changes along the way that I'm like, there's no way I can uh, chart all of these change, rechart all of these changes. So I went back. So here it is. Here's the original that I stitched and I believe it is on 28 light taupe. So I, when I finished it, I was like, what am I going to do? So I went back to the drawing board and I made the changes, which me and mom were comparing and yeah. we both, yeah, we I love, love this. The change. I love, I love this, this one. one. It just is more polished. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, just a little process of what usually then, happens um, when I try and stitch something. <laughs> and then our friend Anna stitched it for her. And again, Anna, she is an amazing stitcher. Yes. Um, if you was to see the back of this, it would look like the front. Yes. Yeah, I mean, so you good. can't tell. I mean, her stitches are just amazing. Yeah. And so she did a beautiful job stitching that for Lindsay. Yeah. And I, I love the final product. So I just thought it would be fun to share yeah. that with you guys. So, yep. All right. Okay. Let's move this so I can see. I just wanted to show these. Okay. Um, so in my in my stash, and I didn't realize I had um, I had kitted these. And again, when you move, you find all kinds of things. But uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so I had kitted all these. I've got all the floss, and so it's all the other birds, um, like the holiday ones. This one's the Christmas. Um, it's this one. Halloween. Oh, the Halloween. Got the Halloween. And then I have the autumn. I love that one. I love the pumpkin. And then I, I have to say this is probably one of my favorites mm -hmm. is the July 4th one with the and would that be a fun flag to do? Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, when on Lindsay's little flag thing. Mm -hmm. And so of course, you know, it's probably going to go on country mocha. I just want to decide if I want to put them all on one or if I want to do them separate and how I want to do it. So that's something I just have to decide. So these are ready to start and be in my stuff. So. Okay, so we have, so now on to quilting, we have some really awesome things to share for quilting. Yeah. Um, first of all, we are doing a Halloween mystery quilt along. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the pattern is going to be free for all of our email subscribers, our quilting email subscribers. So we have two newsletters, cross stitch and quilting. Um, okay, so the Halloween mystery quilt along. We have the kits, and Mom's going to show you what the kit looks like. Yes. These are going to go on sale in the morning. So these are the quilt. The, the fabrics. The so there's actually quite a bit of fabric. Um, yes. The background. Let me just, it's going to have, first off, it's going to okay. have a charm pack. And it's, what's it called? Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. And it's, oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. A lot of really pretty, really pretty. I can't even figure out how to do that. I'm not <laughs> very good at this. Um, and so. Okay, so that. all of these pieces, and then let me just take... There's like 10 different pieces, I believe. I cut this out yesterday. The background is going to be this spider web, and it's hard to tell, but it is um, metallic. Mm -hmm. But it's very... Um, it's like not in your face, and so it's mm -hmm. going to be a fabulous background. In fact, I know it's fabulous because Mom's already made the sample, and it's quilted, and it's, it's done. It's quilted, done, and everything. Um, it's beautiful. So the kit is going to be on sale 
tomorrow morning and um, the backing we're doing backing separately for this one um, just because we it's wanted, a big it, it's, it's a, a bigger big kit. kit and so. we want it to be affordable for everyone mm -hmm. um, but we are we all we are gonna offer the backing uh, separately and so because we know a lot of you guys do have stash and that's awesome that's great but we want it to be affordable to where you guys can grab that kit and make the top and and follow along and follow along with us because if anybody who knows me when I first started quilting I, I was a big kit buyer because I didn't want to have to think about even though I had my stash love my stash but I would still, wear fabric which fabrics would what, go in yes in each spot and yes and the so, patterns um they're going to be emailed weekly starting yeah. September 16th is week one and going through uh, the finish is October 7th and we have a little fun surprise if you yes. order a kit yep. we are going to be putting in a little mystery, mystery, gift, yeah, a mystery um, gift which is valued at $14 so yep. retail value $14 um, we really just want to have a fun yep. stitch along or sew along with you guys yep. and what the free gift is I'm hoping you will put to use while you are sewing yes I know I, I will I know I will <laughs> in but fact I you guys I haven't gotten my sewing machine set up at home and I've been really thinking about it and I would love to I, get it set up to. and sew one of these because it's so cute yes so and cute. and yes um, as far as a uh, skill level, let me just pull up my pattern just before I tell you. Um, if you are comfortable with half square triangles, mm -hmm. then you should be okay. Then you should be fine. Um, so a competent it, beginner, you're, you're confident in your piecing skills. Um, you've learned how to be accurate when mm -hmm. trimming your blocks you're accurate with your quarter inch seam allowance so yeah. but you have to you to know Lindsay and her patterns they are so user friendly and you know I always tell everybody take your time just take your time we're not in a race we you know I I just that's my biggest thing is just take your time and do it at your speed of what you want and what's comfortable for you yes and the way I've broken it down I feel like you're not going to get overwhelmed with your assignment for that week. Um, and the other thing I want to mention is this quilt I designed can be used for any season, yeah. any fabric. Yeah. Although we're picking Halloween for this yes. one, but it's That's a beautiful I, pattern. I was actually telling Lori yesterday when I was when I finished binding it. I was like, oh my gosh, would this not look beautiful in Christmas or mm -hmm. or fall? Any of it would just look amazing. Yeah. Um, tell them the size, what it is. Just so okay, you know. so the finished size is 40 by 40. Yeah. Um, so we will have the kits, the backing sets listed and for sale um, tomorrow morning. Yeah. And the free gift is while supplies last. Mm -hmm. um, and... I, I made a cute little uh, thing here, so I will, if you get a kit, we're going to put this in your kit so you can have the dates handy. Yep. And then also we will post this on our quilting Instagram page. So my question, I'm sure they're all also asking, anybody can join it, correct? Yes, so anyone can join it. Like I said, the pattern is going to be free through our newsletter so you just need to yeah. join our email list and um, each week every Friday starting September 16th I will post the instructions for that week okay um, I might post the cutting instructions um, the week before the week before so if you want to kind of get ahead and cut out all of your pieces you can mm -hmm. um 
That would be a good so, idea. So, in fact, I, I will do that. Let me yeah, write that down. She's going to make her notes so she won't forget. So, because I, if you're like me, I like to have everything cut out, ready to go, so I'm not in the middle of doing those things. So Yes, and Mom, like I said, she has tested the pattern, made the pattern. Yeah. It turned out beautiful. Yeah. Which I don't know where she I, put it. It's you over there. It. I hit it. Oh, God. <laughs> so they couldn't see it. <laughs> so so um, we're really excited about it. I can't wait to see everybody's progress and, and everything. So, yep, we're going to be shipping us those as out. We, do. we haven't done a mystery uh, quilt along since last year. Yeah. Um, we did a fall one. So. And everybody loved it and yes. enjoyed it. And All right. And... Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, so we have a new mini alphabet pattern being released tomorrow. It is L is for leaf. Look at this. So how do you we want to put I, like I that? I like it like this. Okay. And I actually, when I quilted it, these minis, oh, sorry, sorry. These minis, when I quilt these ones, I like to double bat it because when she picks out a design look you can see the texture just pop yes and I just I love this one perfect I mean um this would be really pretty even if you did three leaves in a row for like a little table runner anything and it just turned out extremely beautiful yes um so I picked a Lella Boutique's wine flower pot I just love the colors in it and we did omit the there's a navy as well which you can totally use yeah the navy if you want because it will come in your mini charm pack if you get the kit yeah so I loved how it looked without the navy and then this yellow is gorgeous it it looks like it's like the perfect fall leaf yeah. color so it is it is um yes and so yeah it will that's going to go in the newsletter tomorrow oh thank you thank diane. you diane that's so, so sweet, sweet. Oh, you're so sweet yes um but yeah it will be in the newsletter also tomorrow um uh so snag one up while they last and i want to point out we actually used a grunge for the background because i thought it oh, would yes. be add some texture it's an autumn yeah, an autumn feel. Yeah. But that is when when I says, I mean, look at that. Wouldn't that be beautiful to do yes. one in those colors? So if you have, if you did snag a bundle of these or or to sit there and pick one of these as a leaf. Make an entire quilt. Yes. Oh, yes. It's my dream to take one of my mini alphabets and make an, and entire, make an entire quilt. Oh, yes. That would be so cute. I wanted to. I always say I want to. Not enough time. Not in the enough world. time. <laughs> yes. so. And then, lastly, for quilting, we are releasing the Free Pattern Friday kit for we, September. We I know we're a little last... late to the party, but yeah. we've been waiting on one of the pieces of fabric, mm -hmm. and it should be coming today. Yep. So, these are just a few of the pieces that will be in the kit. Yep. The whole uh, kit picture will be. Um, You'll see all the fabrics. Yes, yeah, you'll see all the fabrics. In the These listing. are just a few of the pieces that are going to be in it. So it's going to be fall. Yes. It's got, look at these cute little acorns. I, I love, and, and I, I love, love the this plum. plum. Oh my gosh, the plum is so beautiful. Uh, yes. I, I'm going to have to, I think we're all going to be fighting over the sample. And I'm using this as the background. Oh, I love it. So, so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so beautiful stuff, beautiful. So, so that kit will be in the newsletter in the morning. Um, all right, so I think that is it. Um, we're gonna pick, we've picked the giveaway winners for our live uh, expo release. So we did, you can pick the chart of your choice of the new expo, our new expo releases, you can pick one chart. Um, winner number one, Samantha Fry. You will need to uh, email Emily and which chart you want. Mm -hmm. Winner two, Sharon Peterson. Congratulations, guys. 
Winner three, Teresa, I'm probably murdering your last name is Ch Chuckle, Ch Chuckle, 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 C H U C L E. Okay. And then one winner for the Halloween floss keep is Melissa Lindsay. Awesome. Um, congratulations. Email guys. Emily and congratulations. So the giveaways this week, and I didn't bring this in here, is um, we had a customer buy two of the Give Greatly patterns, oh, which yeah. is the Stitch Along with Mom pattern, yeah. and she wanted to donate it for the giveaway this week. And uh, Marilyn, thank you so much. Oh, that was so thoughtful that's of so you. That's so generous. When you messaged that, I like went and told everyone, I'm like, what? That's so generous. Yes. So sweet So of thank you. you. And then, so that is the giveaway for our cross stitchers. For our quilters, we have uh, one lucky winner will win the L is for leaf kit. Yep, for the quilt kit. Yeah. Um, and the question is, um, what's your favorite thing to do in the fall? Yes. Like, what? What's your favorite activity that you seem to do every fall? Yes. I think that favorite autumn activity yeah. or favorite we talked about soup yes if you're a soup lover in the autumn in fact somebody asked what kind of soups we make in the fall we'll have to talk about I'll put that to talk about with our stitch along oh yeah our live stitching which I don't have in this book so yeah. our next one we'll tell you the date next time so yes. you don't you won't miss it it's towards the end of the month yeah so i think that's everything i think that is <laughs> um i want to thank everyone for joining in yep. uh especially those super chats thank you so much yes. that's so thoughtful um we love coming on here and talking to you guys live oh, so it feeds our soul yes. for the day it really does but i wanted to mention um to for the giveaways answer the question or whatever um after the live on the youtube channel uh, on the comments on the comments because that's how we pick our winners and so we want to make sure everybody is you know getting that comment in there so they can have a chance to win yep and when you see us next time i think it's the first day of stitch along with mom yep so she will be sharing My her progress. progress which she's it's doing really great so yeah, it's really beautiful and so. also we had a chance to talk with a uh, silver creek sampler um diane and her husband which on the oh. thing it said mr silver creek sampler <laughs> which i thought was cute and and i got to talk to her yeah for a minute. she was just so excited of how we're doing the stitch along with her pattern so yeah. um we can't wait to pick the next one. Yeah. We're going to be coming up with a few options, and Mom's going to pick yeah. um, which one she wants to do for yes. her next Stitch Along. Yeah. Stitch Along with Mom. You guys are awesome. Yeah, you are. Thank you, Valeria. You make me feel very loved, and and it's it's really funny. I uh, My friend keeps telling me that I have a fan club. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you just have a fan club. I says, yep, that's me. <laughs> so, so what what are you doing this weekend, Mom? Um, gosh, this weekend I uh, I have a, a, I'm going to dinner with a friend and my, uh, my friend Kathy and her husband uh, to a nice place. I'm really excited to go and, and just kick back and relax and have dinner and hang out um, with them. And and I think that's pretty much it. Just have a nice relaxing weekend and so yeah. Yeah, I kind of well, it was Avery's birthday yesterday. Yes. And we celebrated that last night. Um so she wants to go to it's a jump house on Saturday, so oh. but really I just wanna 
relax and stitch. There's really no solid plans here at mm -hmm. our house, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm really excited. I, I do have to mention, though, I've been invited to go to Chicago in a couple, like in a month or so. And so I told Lindsay, um, she's got to take me shopping. I need a couple new uh, outfits for my traveling. So yeah. So I'm going to be dragging her along to go do some shopping. we got to so. go shopping, So which is not a hardship you for know, me. No. I love retail therapy. Yes. Um, I do it often. Yeah. Kate, Kate, <laughs> As you can see in the back, yeah. I, I Katie's a little disappointed. She's like, "Well, I want to go and do that." And I was like, oh, "We'll go shopping in Vegas too. We'll go shopping every day." <laughs> <laughs> so, so pretty excited. Uh, so. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank we you. hope you have a great weekend full of stitching and sewing, and yeah. and maybe I'll get my sewing space set up. Yeah. I don't know. We'll right. see. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. Happy stitching. Happy quilting. Yes. And Thank you. We'll see you Bye, next guys. week. Bye. <laughs>